views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Sunflower Media Mint. Some programs might include strong images or language that not might be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, my leg. What can you do with 30 minutes? For us, we define things. Straightforward. New perspectives. No gray area. It is black and white. You're listening to the new You Podcast. All right, welcome to the podcast on this Friday night, 8th of May, 2020. I'm H, together on the show is Reg, and two of the most promising producers and directors of, well, this generation. Well, we're both, well, we are broadcasting from Pasay, Reg is from Makati. We also have Kent Dongines on the show and RC De Los Reyes as well. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Magandang gabi. Good morning. <laughs> Actually, good morning. It's, it's, it's also good morning in Vancouver. Kent is in Vancouver right now. And I think RC is yeah, seven. It's 7 in the morning. Yeah. K- kamusta? Kamusta dyan? Okay naman. Weather's, weather's great, but because of the pandemic restrictions, obviously all activities are very limited. Um, but we try to be productive every day as much as we can. RC, no, so it's a good. <laughs> okay, naman. I, 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 to be honest, I miss Vancouver. Um, da, ngayon pa na sobrang it's it's inet dito, di ba? So like for forty plus degrees dito sa Manila. So talagang mame miss mo yung lamig ng Vancouver, no? I remember. I think years ago we were shooting yes. this. Yes, yes. About, about this time, that was the time that you guys came here from Ocular, and then a month later, yes. you, we started filming. You're, you're filming what yeah. What film during that time? Uh, we did, I uh, know, we did um, First Love. It's directed by Paul Soriano. So the one with, it's the first out of the country, Bea and Aga, it's the first out of the country project of, uh, um, na, na si Derek Paul yung director. Yon. Also, I have to say, it's also w- probably one of the first feature films, especially from the Philippines, that played Vancouver itself. Oh, I know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, I, I think that that's the reason yeah. why, we ha- why we have you guys here on the show. Well, th- this, is, this is actually the pilot of this podcast. Well, we started this, uh, the New You podcast, uh, basically to discuss, everybody's talking about the new norms. Every, every, wherever you go, Facebook, TV, or is there, uh, even TV now in the, in the Philippines, I, I don't know. Uh, but wherever you go, it's all about the new norms. And for us, it's talking about not really imposing that this is the new norm, but more of just sharing the insights, ideas that everybody can use. So the new you is actually straightforward. It's about new perspective. And when we talk about you, the first thing you think in mind is actually colors. But with this podcast, it's actually different. What you see is actually black and white. No gray area. If you want it, you want it. If you don't want it, you don't want it. It's mm-hmm. as simple as that. And that's the reason why that's the concept of the show. And for this pilot episode, we have RC and Kent. Well, we're going to discuss about the new cinema. And of course, no no other people worthy of being in the show are actually film directors themselves. So, and dami kasi natin pwede pag-usapan dito. And just... Recently, let's start with, we've seen how this IG live from Bea and John Lloyd, I think that was last week. Okay, we're in there, they're actually yeah. talking and all. It came by surprise, na wala, parang kamustahan lang, plain, plain and simple, very mm-hmm. straightforward. And then when, mm-hmm. after a while, Andalit Hadaone posted on her Instagram that this is unconfined cinema. It's the new cinema. Because everybody is restricted. The production, the filmmaking, the post- post-production, and damning questions. And that's why we're putting this show, the new, well, this topic on this show right now, Kent and RC, how do you see the cinema, that specific industry, changing with the pandemic itself? Kent. Mm-hmm. Well, I, 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 I mean, ano, ano, ano tingin mo? How, 
How how the cinema? <laughs> ano, first time yung nakita wala? <laughs> ang taas kasi nung ano, ang taas naman ng tanong agad, no? What is ano, new cinema? Yeah, walang build up. <laughs> wala, wala build up. We go straight. Ang taas, no? But, but, yeah, but to be honest, I, I saw, I, I, medyo delayed lang yung pagpapa, nung napanood ko, no? Yeah, yeah. Um, parang two days after, um, two days after ko napanood yung, ano ni Tonet, Um, mm-hmm. and then nalaman ko na nga talaga na ah okay the unconfined cinema ito yung previously nakikita ko I've been seeing their post kasi mm-hmm. na parang di ba parang may uh, ad sila that mm-hmm. um, there's hashtag unconfined cinema um, to be honest the idea I think um, ang pin- no, after ko mapanood I think every creative right now at this point of ano no in these trying times are finding ways on how to be creative, how to, um, paano ba namin ilalabas yung creativity na nasa loob namin, di ba, amidst the pandemic. Um, everybody has their own way of coping, um, di ba, um, may iba, like for us, for us, um, in our company, in 1017, um, we have weekly um, homeworks, no, homeworks, na, um, Na I find it very ana uh, very um and uh, uh for me ano siya it's it's really helpful it's very helpful for us lalo na nasa creatives we're watching films um mm. the class ones no yeah. so may mga recommendations yung each of us has recommendation um uh, films na recommended films to watch for the week and then we give a we give a feedback no after at the end of the week and then There was one time also that we were able to do a short film. Each of us has made short films kami. So, talagang na, na, naghahanap ka ng, ng ano mo, outlet on how to, to continue being creative. Kasi I think that is what is important, di ba? Um, right now, more than ever, we have to find ways, outlet for us to to to, to be creative. Sabi nga ni, ano, sabi nga, um, Sabi nga ni Pope Francis, di ba, na, um, in his article Mama na lumabas, no? We have, we have to be creative, <laughs> di ba, at one yeah. point. And it's a struggle, ha? Sa totoo lang, hindi naman ganun kadali. Hindi, I know, I know it's not, not everyone is like me or like us, di ba? Everyone, sabi ko nga, has their own way of coping mm-hmm. um, in these trying times. Um, may kanya-kanyang pacing, Yon. Kaya, ano siya, it's a learning curve also. It's a learning curve also for everyone to build their own routine. Mm-hmm. No? Ikaw, Kent, kamusta ka dyan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kala na, oh. Bukod sa oh, oh, bukod sa ganyan. Ang daming ganyan. sinabi. Ang daming sinabi ni Ercy. You know what, for me, um, it's it's definitely an interesting take um, on what a film could be. Um, I didn't I didn't see it coming, akala ko nga, ano lang siya, normal na, conversation. na live yeah. conversation. Uh, eh. mm-hmm. And then, until it was revealed later that it's actually an experimental project, True. which which became even more intriguing. But on the creative side naman, in terms of just a general idea of what an unconfined cinema is, I think before this whole pandemic happened, there is already an existing idea of, of an unconfined cinema. True. That's why filmmakers are always forced to um, think outside the box. Um, there are a lot of restrictions in terms of budget. There's a lot of restrictions in terms of services that could be provided in a production um, that basically confines that cinema. And then once you you get yourself around those restrictions, um, that's how that's how a film become unconfined. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. And especially, especially here in Vancouver, um, like producers and writers are way busier right now. Sure, there's less, there's less work, but there's so much time in terms of development and then pitching, and then like concepts becoming scripts and scripts becoming films. And just like, just what RC said, um, we also have different like quarantine film challenges really? that are happening here. Yeah, um, even even the the government. Has um has a 
ano, hindi siya benefit eh. Parang ano siya, the government allowed artists to stay artists during this pandemic. Kumbaga parang, sina- hindi naman subsidized, but they're offering uh, um, parang benefits kumbaga for artists to go live. Set up sa Vancouver. Like, <laughs> 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 to go live, play their music, share their art, painting, all those kind of stuff. So, just having that kind of support, um, yeah, so people will still be able to um, practice the art that they want to do. Yeah. Your take on that unconfined cinema uh, structure? Actually, the first time I heard of it was when um, Harley shared it with me. Sabi niya, nakita mo na ba to? Nakakaloka talaga. So parang, he me- he sent it to me and I was like, sige, panoorin ko. And then I watched it and I was like, oo nga, no? parang hindi mo mamal- mamamalayan na it's an actual um, experiment going on. And I researched a bit more about it and just like what Ken said a while ago, um, you couldn't tell if it was an experiment or not. And I think that was the point that uh, the director was making as well. Because we have a culture here in the Philippines where we walk the fine line between make-believe and reality. Yeah. It's kind of blurry. And I feel like Instagram Live was one of the best ways to, per, uh, to have that on a platform. Because it's live, siya, you can see people interacting. I, I, w- I even saw like people recording it and yung mga rea- reactions nila na parang, parang film to ah. Parang nanonood ako ng Popoy at Basha ulit yung, ng, ng pelikula. <laughs> so you can see how it was interacting as well with the audience because it was live for people to see. Well, for for one, uh, sabi nga ni Arce ganina, no? meron naman, in, in Kent, meron ng talk about it even before. Most likely, the mass or the people is not aware na meron ganun mga pinag-uusapan. But, when they executed it, I think it's, merong somehow marketing stuff around it in a sense that Mm-mm. ayun yung mismong execution eh. You, you were, it is, it is yeah. intended for you to believe that it was just a plain conversation. For you to believe yeah. John Lloyd's line about telling a line out of a movie, na hindi talaga movie, and making it believe na this is John Lloyd talking to Bea and not Popoy talking to Basha. That mm-hmm. that was well executed. And I mean, with with, yeah. with with those unconfined cinema strategies or other uh, what do you call this aspects para na pwede natin paglaruan. The, the challenge really here is everybody, you guys, the film directors, the producers and all, we are all um, challenged that we are all confined in our own homes. Production, hindi natin alam paano gagawin and all. And it's really the creative juices out of uh, Hadaone and the other people behind that project that showed. Yun yung pinaka umangat dun eh. Yun yung maganda dun. Kasi nakita yeah. natin na talagang even you're given just a pen and paper if you are that creative enough you can repurpose your skill, your skill. I've been talking to to yeah. people for the past few weeks and then in this pandemic in this crisis we always tell about how do we think of moving on or move or going back out of this scenario Pero one of their key aspects there is hindi naman tayo lahat, we are entitled to move on. Because hindi tayo pantay-pantay. So the main point is actually mm-hmm. to survive. And with surviving, one key point that I actually uh, got from, from that discussion is that we have to repurpose. Mm-hmm. After all of this, yeah. the only thing that will stick to every one of us is the experience of being in a crisis. And as well, the skills that we already acquired from the time na meron tayo sa industry. I am an IT guy in the morning. You guys are directors, strategists on marketing. But you can see right now, we're talking on the podcast. This is a different platform yeah. Yeah. that we can all explore. And I think another question that I want to throw in lang is, given a worst case scenario that this will last for a couple of months or not, wag naman taon, how do you see the film industry being affected? Kasi, lalo na ikaw, RC, you have films lined up. Okay? You, alam natin yung mga tinatrabaho mo. Pero how do you see the production being affected? Paano? I mean, wala tayong panunuring bago. I mean, di ba? 
Tingin mo? Yeah. Alam mo, um, you know what, Harley? I'm um, just going back no, to sure. the unconfined cinema. Mm-hmm. So, to be honest, um, the reason why I think um, pinag-usapan siya at nag, somehow nag, nag, nag-trend siya di ba, um, digitally, I think kasi more than the platform, more than the unconfined cinema itself, that's actually the power of storytelling. Yes. Diba? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. 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 And, um, Filipino, sabi nga ni Tonet, no, love stories, diba, in her post, are very innate in the Filipino culture. That's true. And mm-hmm. being able to translate that, um, to being able to translate that story, no, that love story, on a diff, on a new plat, kumbaga, on a platform na, hindi naman natin alam na, uy, pwede pala gumawa ng kwento sa, ng possibility yes. na through IG Live, yes. di ba? Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's something different for us. But to be honest, whatever platform it is, it always boils down to to how good the storytelling is. Eh. And um, when I saw it nga, eh, talagang mahuhuk ako kasi it's very natural. And what I also like about their lives is they actually did not just talk about um, their love story, eh. Mm-hmm. Or, um, or, or two people catching up. Eh. They talked about their lives, their present lives, diba? Yes. I mean, I remember, I remember nga te, um, John Lloyd asking Bea na um, about dun sa mga relief, no? Na what if after the mm-hmm. moment that you gave them the relief goods, after nun, and, tapos babalik sila sa realidad nila? Because you have to think of that, eh. Diba? Like, like us, um, so segueing to your question, no, mm-hmm. uh, uh, what how how it affects no, the production. To be honest, it's um, up to now. Um, I don't know if it's same with Vancouver film. Yeah. No? So up to now, to be honest, um, ano siya, um, hindi pa siya ganun kapulido in, in on our industry. Um, I haven't um, I haven't seen a concrete um, guidelines on how do we move forward with um, af- with this crisis, no? Um, but we cannot stop, eh. We cannot stop being creative. We have to continue being creative. There is an article um, that I saw about, that wrote about Japan asking their citizens to really practice na their new lifestyle. Yes. Because we don't know when will this vaccine, di ba, yeah, oh. will come. Walang malinaw, eh. Walang malinaw diba? na timeline, eh. Wala. Totoo. And we cannot, ano, hindi, we cannot stop. Diba? We cannot stop being, being creative, being, doing what we love to do, no? Not just, not just here in the, in, in our industry, but also in, in everyone's, ano, respective industries that you are working on. Hindi kayo pwede, you can, we cannot stop living. Yes, diba? We yeah. have to find a way how we are going to, um, coexist with this, um, virus, diba? Yeah. Um, now, feeling ko naman, um, there are talks. I, 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 um, I'm seeing groups, no, guilds in our industry that are talking about um, what's, what's next, um, what's next for the industry. Um, I just really hope that this this pandemic also teaches our industry in this country to really give Im- give importance, no. To as much to how we give importance to ano to the box office and to um kumbaga, to the ratings um we give importance to the welfare of of the people I mean of the people working in the film di ba no. I mean kay, kaka, it's it's just sad to realize that okay kailangan pa pala magka pandemic bago ma realize ng mga um, taga inducer na, oy kailangan pala, 16 hours lang, oy pwede kailangan pala, ganito. <laughs> Alam mo yon nakakalungkot lang, it's, it's, it's saddening to hear, but, you know, na kailangan pandemic pa yung magdikta ng kung ano, well, by, kung ano yung, ano namin, oh, gagawin. By, by default kasi, mm-hmm. it, that's the norm of a pe- natin eh, kumbaga, reactive tayo eh. And at this point, what it, it yeah. is what it is, diba? Kumbaga, dyan na yung pandemic eh, and all we have to do, like what you said, we have to ad- adjust to it. Yeah, it's funny that the question was brought up because actually today, all all the unions, like film unions and also um, the film councils, 
are going to have, they're actually going to broadcast today if how the film industry is going to move forward here in Canada in general, especially in BC, mm. in British Columbia. Um, but again, like what RC said, I think even if, even if all the restrictions are lifted, um, it doesn't mean that the pandemic is over. True. Um, it's, it's up to us um, to learn how to adapt. That's why that's why we're Homo sapiens. If we're gonna go back <laughs> all the way to the to to the the theory of evolution, right? Um, yeah, I think it's just about adaptation. And at the end of the day, um, we just have as long as long as safety protocols are are in line and yeah. it's there to be followed. Um, yeah, but my only worry would be like worst case scenario, even if cinemas are gonna be opening. Um, yeah, like if if you practice social distancing, that's two meters apart, so about six feet. Yeah. So, how are you going to? Yeah. People, how are going to production? How many <laughs> people are gonna be there? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ala, yeah. Ala and ano Harley. I think that um speaking of cinema, since can't mention it, I think that is also the biggest hurdle now. No, I mean we can make plans and plans and do guidelines, de ba? But as long as the cinemas are closed, um, saan kami magpapalabas, di ba? Well, All we can yeah. do is plan oh, and oh, ano. Oh, oh, oh. Di ba? But, but we can't lose hope then, di ba? I mean, this is just a challenge and cinema will survive. Um, this is just a challenge for the industry. Um, I mean, after this pandemic, more than the projects, more than the... Um, more than the workload that you you get i think what is more important especially no for for everyone i think is to look to ponder on yourself to to really look at yourself in the mirror and ask what are the things that you you the what are the things that you did that you didn't like before right? yeah. because we cannot go we cannot go back to our normal lives after this one diba right? we cannot it's not we cannot be the same, right? <laughs> it doesn't it needs to diba hindi kay hindi um if um, if, if, we, if we go back to the normal na sinasabi nila before walang there's there's no possibility that this will hap, this will not happen again i mean diba yun lang na may yeah. formula doon eh kumbaga kung kung meron kang ginawang mali at mali yung kinalabasan at gusto mong bumalik doon sa dati mo sa normal mo na yun eh mali din yung kinalabasan bumalik din yung mali <laughs> exactly yeah so you have to, we yeah. really have to, to change something out of the equation. Anyway, guys, ang haba pa nung usapan natin. Are you game for another 15 minutes? Because the show is actually oh, yeah. just for 30 oh. minutes. Okay? So we're breaking the rule on the pilot. Okay? We're, we're adjusting additional 15 minutes for the show. Because dami pa natin gusto pag-usapan. And may, later on, we can go with part two. But honestly, with, with, with this setup, with the new cinema, uh... Tama yung binagit ni RC eh. Isa sa pinag-uusapan natin, creative juices, definitely hindi bawala yan. That's there to stay. Nandun yun sa tao eh. Okay. Pangalawa is the the resources na meron ka. How do you produce? How do you do production? Yung mga post-production? Uh, ano ba yan? Yung mga, what they call it, shooting and all, di ba? Yung mga ganong bagay. So that's a question. And the third one is actually, how do you, pati yung ROI? Kasi definitely may cost dun sa production na yun. Eh. Hindi naman gumagawa yung mga producers natin for free. So definitely, mm-hmm. there is money yeah. involved. And that's the reason why it's being shown in the cinemas. That's why it's there. Kumbaga, for us to repay, kumbaga, appreciate art. Film is an art. It's a paid art. Uh, just today, I think, the the theater play, Huling El Bimbo, it's being shown online by yeah. ABS-CBN. So, Sabi nga ni RC kanina, that's the other question eh. How, pwede silang gumawa ng mga films and all. Kent, RC, other producers, other directors, other. The question er, there is, where do they show it? So I think the, the next thing there is, you guys, Reg, as well, you're looking at this new norms right now. Platform is available. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. umbaga. Yeah. Yeah. So with with those platforms na meron right now the social media website honestly look at this ABS didn't even bother to broadcast their online show in their own website where did they broadcast mm-hmm. TV Patrol after Facebook 
Why? Because the viewers are there. Because the mass is there. Mm-hmm. Because Facebook is free in the telcos. Hindi kailangan mm-hmm. ng, ng load ng normal na tao para manood doon sa ibang site. But with Facebook kasi, it's free with the telcos. So if they broadcast it there, technically it's still free broadcasting. Actually, marami nagsistream ngayon, a lot of, a lot Ito. of, so you mentioned yung huling El Bimbo. Um, so aside from that, I see that plays are also being streamed on Facebook, mga 24-hour streams, dire-diretsyo. Mm-hmm. And I think one of my, one of my friends told me the other day that he actually starred in an online play where online they play. live streamed it on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yes, so it was through like parang it looked like a Zoom meeting or like parang conference call, but the play that was the whole play itself. And it was just a bunch of actors there as well. You know, you so, know, uh, guys. Yung platform uh, nila. Eh. Yes, RC. I think, I think mar- ever since naman marami ng ano eh, marami ng platforms na available, di ba? I mean, Netflix is there, digital is booming, mm. di ba? Before the quarantine, but for me, you know, as a filmmaker, if Ako talaga, to be honest, as much as we want everything in digital now, no, I think cinema has a purpose because watching movies in cinema, yun kay, ang purpose kasi nun is for you to, to, for you to bring your audience in a secluded area, in a room, na all dark, and then you, you show him something that is larger than life. And that yeah. is the magic kasi, of the movies. Eh. That is something that you cannot rep that no digital platform, I believe, cannot replicate. I mean, mm-hmm. iba yung pakiramdam when you when when you've seen the first movie in your life in a big screen, di ba? Sure. That you feel na oh, this is something magical. I mean, I remember myself seeing um seeing um, Shake, Rattle, and Roll by Peke Galiaga, who, you know, just passed away, yeah, right? Yes, yes. Um, I, it's, it's a manananggal, um, it's a manananggal um, story starring Aiko Melendez. And I've seen it, kumbaga, uso pa nun kasi yung pwede mong i-replay ng i-replay yung sinehan, di ba? Hindi ka lalaman. Gumupo ka lang. ko, I was with my auntie, the, in, naka, te, naka seven times kami panoorin yung movie na yun. That's how magic, that's Seven how times. Magical the, that's how magical the feeling is eh. When you are inside the cinema, na hindi mo, hindi siya may replicate um, kapag nasa kwarto ka lang, di ba? Mm-hmm. I mean, and also, um, that's why cinema can't die. Yes, yes, of it course. It symbolizes, um, it symbolizes big dreams, no? I mean, the reason why you, Don't you dear why I became a filmmaker, it's because I dreamt big, diba? I dreamt big of one day being, di- directing a film, diba? Producing a film, and seeing it in the big screen. Um, uh, um, a, f- a former boss, no? Um, told, told us nga when I was still a PA, ang sabi niya, when you watch your film, no? When you want your film in the cinema, um, it's a different ball game. I mean, mm. there entails a lot of responsibility, yeah. not just creatively, no, but there is a responsibility to your audience, to to your community, to your nation when you show it there. That's how important cinema is. Um, and right now, to be honest, no, um, going to being creative, diba. I, I feel the importance now also of our industry. I mean, we may not, mm-hmm. you know, like, we may not be yes. like the frontliner, diba? But hey, guys, we are the industry that keep, keep keeps people inside their houses exactly. sane. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. exactly. That is yes. very true. Very true. Yes. <laughs> diba? Amen. I mean, not talaga. About, no, no, I'm not just talking about um, Philippine cinema. I'm talking about the cinema as a whole. Global, um, yeah. The larger think, scale. Diba? Global. Um, especially now, there are a lot of Korean dramas <laughs> in, uh, in, in Netflix, no? Talaga, may mga friends mo na si alam mo, um, totoo, um, hindi, you can, parang nung times na I was struggling already to, diba, may times na may nakatahimik ka lang, ganyan, tapos parang blurry na yung outside world sa'yo, no? So, 
kausap niya yung best friend ko, tapos sabi ko, best, I feel, ano, I feel yung, paano na yung industry namin, there's a lot of questions in my mind, tapos sabi niya, you know what, you, nakakalungkot because someone like you who is very creative, who is a storyteller mm-hmm. by nature, is having these questions, no? Mm-hmm. Pero kasi sabi ko, but also, I'm human naman. Parang I feel valid din naman yung questions na mag-form inside my my head. Pero, um, sabi niya, pero alam mo, if there's one thing that your industry helped us, it's keeping us sane inside yeah. our houses, entertaining, inspiring. I mean, we may we may not be able to give physically, di ba, help physically, di ba, or monetarily, but we're able to feed that soul inside every person in their houses and make them feel entertained and inspired, di ba? And, well, we, we talked about nga, so, RC, about, ano eh, I mean, sorry, sorry about, about last time, if, if all of this pandemic happened before, let's say, 90s or what we're in, hindi ganito yung mm-hmm. technology. I mean, this is, this mm-hmm. podcast, this conferencing is not really possible by by that time. Di ba? And yeah. basically, uh, that's very true. A purpose of this podcast is interacting with the outside world. This is actually the outside yeah. world already. It's you, Kent, in Vancouver, Reg, in Makati, us conversing about things. I mean, imagine if this happened in the 90s. Walang internet. Or kung may internet man, you go with dial-up. So, this is not yeah. really possible. So, saan tayo mag rely on that? And if you will look back at the 90s, all you have is television. Mm. Oh, and, yes, and you, you, you guys, yes, I mean, even that time, yun naman yan bagay yan. I mean, the, the closest thing that you can say or you can think about wherein people are at homes is actually Holy Week. Yun yung pinaka-solid yeah, yes. that time, eh, di ba? Na tarang, pag sinabi mong ano ang constant na holiday sa Pilipinas, Holy Week. So, nasa bahay yung mga tao. And when you go Holy Week... Some of them nga naka-vacation. <laughs> Well, medyo nung mga ano na yata yun, nung mga latter part na yun. Pero yung mga panahon, panahon ko na nun, sige. Uh, Holy Week yun. So, wala kang ibang choice kung hindi entertainment talaga. Uh, and that's that's why I'm actually grateful for you guys. I mean, the, the producers, the filmmakers. Diba? Right? Diba? Yeah. Diba? Wala mang, wala mang Netflix nung mga panahon na yun. There are other forms of entertainment that people will be able to to use and find. True. And it's about, it's it's the the exact value of really being entertained. I mean, hindi ko alam ko pa, kung paano ka mo lang gusto ng tumawa, pero that, that's basically it. And if you, I mean, if I'm talking to a, a younger RC or a younger Kent, by default, I think your core, guys, is actually to entertain people. Hindi man kayo yung front line in terms of entertainment, but you have, you are at the back thinking paano ko may entertain tong tao and uh, that's why mm-hmm. I, I, I'm actually we, we, we talked about having the new cinema not only because of the John Lloyd Bay thing that happened weeks ago but it's, it's, it's a good start I mean we're, we're trying to, to expand to ano man yung avail- available right now eh? and we, we've seen on Wednesday we're, we're going to have DJ Chacha on the show talking about the new broadcasting and then Patty Liu and Mark Thompson on the Thursday yata yun. It's about the new DJ. So, everybody's changing. Every day, and dami natin bagong, uh, daming, daming nangyayari. Honestly, kasi, when we started, ang alam natin, this is going to be over by April, I think, for the Philippines, ha? Mm-hmm. Pero, yeah. ngayon, it's first, May 15, yeah. and then, parang last time, meron yata ang usap ulit ba? Kent, kamusta ang Vancouver? I mean, with with you guys, paano ang mga, ang ano ninyo, ang, ang setup ninyo in terms of the film industry, paano ang, I mean, I, I know, that you mentioned earlier that you will guys talk about it, ano lang mangyayari. Pero like what RC mentioned, paano, paano ang makikita mo dyan? Yeah, well, definitely, my experience versus like RC's experience, um, RC is definitely more in the mainstream, eh. he's, He's like he's up for um he's up he's up for like box office and shows right oh. but for me I'm more I'm more independent where where my career is kind of reliant to film festivals 
Um, just going back to the conversation earlier about the idea of going all throughout digital, um, mm-hmm. the real question would be, is it enough? Because film, film is an experience, um, not just the film itself, but yeah. how you interact with, with the people. And you want to you wanna get parang the feedback right away from your audience, right? And, mm-hmm. and in film festivals especially, if you go to film festivals, there's no such thing as, as a film experience anymore because there is the film festival experience that offers you the option to experience films. Um, and yeah, in a North American setting, um, we're definitely um, looking into we're definitely looking into options of how how cinema will be delivered to to the audience. And obviously, the the direct option is online. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of film festivals have have postponed their live events and also transitioned to virtual film festivals. Um, but again, you don't you don't get the same experience anymore. Uh, even even for myself, um, I actually got into this um, uh, accelerator program on like documentaries, mm-hmm. and now we're doing online workshops instead of supposed to be your personal pitches, your personal <laughs> mentorship. Voila! So it's it's almost the same. I think in terms of regulations, we're more we're more free with what we can do, but we're also educated enough to to be. Parang socially aware of what we should be doing around people, because funny, ma three weeks ago ata or a month ago, me and my friend did a little shoot. It's like a poetry shoot, and it was just me, the director, and then my friend who's the cinematographer, and we have one actor, and we're in like full gear. We're like astronauts on Earth <laughs> with a camera, <laughs> and in the street, like people are like looking at us. So <clears throat> it's not it's not that different, um, but yeah, again, it's gonna go back to adaptation, really, yeah. and hopefully, hopefully, not just the Philippines, but also um, all all the other countries will be able to find protocols and safety regulations for everyone to follow. Because yeah. the worst thing that could happen is cinema losing its audience, because there will be no cinema if there's no audience. Yes. Yes. Because how, how can you assure, diba, How can you assure the people that when all of this is over, diba, How can you assure them that when they go inside the cinema, you're safe? Um, it's safe for them. Yes. Diba? Mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah. Tapos, syempre, you have to think of. Okay, kung kung sabi natin may social distancing sa sinehan, so mas ano tataas yung ano yung bayad. Mas tataas yung bayad. Oh, sempre oh, kasi si Zigzig nila, eh. they they fill the cinema up normally, lalo na yung mga last yes. full shows, ba? Yes. Di ba? So so ibig sabihin ang cinema magiging mas ano na lang siya afford by the privilege, di ba? The mm. ones that really can True. ano. Because before before the quarantine, how much does is the cinema ano ticket na? It's around three hundred. Three hundred yata. Three hundred. Pataas siya. Diba? So mataas siya, di ba? Eh so so ganon. Um before sabi ko nga before we find um a way no on how do we assure muna this uh, our fellow our fellow men that it is safe to go out because when mm-hmm. you go out this time it's a risk already yeah correct mm-hmm. right. diba there is diba lalo na ngayon diba there is a talk nga that they might extend it in June 15 diba because uh-huh. to be honest <laughs> eh, diba to be honest ako i'm not confident with with how the government is acting on the pandemic because i feel talaga bang may sign ng ano <laughs> Diba? Bumaba ba talaga? Nagka-flat ba talaga yung curve? <laughs> yes. Tapos also, syempre kami, na may mga plans na to shoot our projects, diba? Syempre, ano yun eh, social, an unang-una kami mag-violate sa social distancing. True. Kasi, True. Eh, an, alam mo, when, when, we were, when we are shooting in um, um, Vancouver, sobrang ano lang naman eh, kapag nagsushoot ang isang Filipino um film um film outfit sa abroad normally talagang skeletal crew lang yan mm-hmm. yes. when we were in vancouver we were just 22 people um or just 22 people who flew in there and then the rest of the team of the pd um the rest of the pas we got it from there na okay. um but we were able to manage and to be honest that is something na um 
something na medyo pag pagdabalik ko dito as a per, that opened my eyes because it's my first time to shoot abroad there. So, nung pagbalik ko dito, sabi ko, "Oy, bakit nga hindi natin i-adapt?" <laughs> no? Bakit hindi natin try it adapt? But you know, Philippine cinema, the in our industry is very different from Vancouver industry. I mean, um, kaya okay. medyo mahihirapan kang i-adapt yan eh. You, yeah. you have, we have to find a way as an industry to, to make it mas balance, mm-hmm. di ba? Kaya, um, kaya very important yung mga decisions na gagawin ng bawat producer, ng bawat director, ng bawat AD, at, ba, at kung sino man ang namumuno, di ba? Um, sa industriya namin, very important yung decisions nila because um, more than more than ano keeping your business you have to think of the welfare of your True. staff your yes. crew exactly your, exactly yes. diba? that's the key thing here eh. uh, yeah that's the key thing i i mean sabi ko uh, an, sabi ko nga minsan sa mga friends ko you know mawala man lahat ng projects ko maghirap man tayo Diba, mawalan man tayo ng trabaho, yung industriya man namin, lumamlam, diba? But, as long as the people working in this industry are safe, then, um, we can recoup. Diba? Mm-hmm. This is all going to reset, eh. Lahat to magre-reset, honestly. Okay. Yeah, for sure. That's, diba? That's why it's very important that we do not, um, that we do not we we find a way on improving our our lives diba yeah. our how we work diba that's very mm-hmm. important and i just want to share too like sure, some sure. of some of the context i guess um within rc's um statements because in in canada um actually after 6 hours that's that's the um that's your lunch time already okay. and then after the next 6 hours you have to feed your crew you have to give them one hour breaks and you can't go over 15 16 hours of shooting and we we were able to share that that protocol and rules to, to our philippine team and everyone was so surprised that they were like okay so we're gonna be done in 15 hours that are like yeah and and yeah it goes back to the idea of like you should be taking care of your people um Especially, yes. especially in a crew format, because because oh, no. if one person is, let's say, so tired and so exhaust the day whole, shooting, yeah. there is a possibility that that person's not gonna come back the next day. Mm-hmm. True, and your whole yeah. production is affected. Yeah. Yes, and to and to be honest, this is a learning curve for our the in this the Philippine industry. Because, um, like what like what you said, can't de ba? Um. I'm sure. Eh, by the next day, so, so, eto nga eh, as simple as we can follow the rules in other countries, but we cannot adapt it here or nor follow it here, eh, di ba? That's the problem, eh. So mm-hmm. that is I think, the biggest um hurdle, eh, na hindi ta na pag kami pag bumalik kami dito, ay kailangan ganito yan, babalik tayo sa normal, kasi wala yeah. na tayo sa Vancouver magkaiba. Oh, the the mentality is dapat kung nakita mong maganda doon you adapt, adapt. diba mm-hmm. you, yeah. you try to ano but i know it's not that easy it's ano i may sound idealistic diba but that's that's the dream eh. well um, um that, that's the dream for every filmmaker eh, to have a mass balancing um balancing pamamalakad when it comes to filmmaking and to your set yeah. Well, again, like what I mentioned kanina, no? I mean, the, the podcast itself, it, it doesn't aim na sabihin that this is the new normal. Okay? We're, we're talking here, we're just actually just sharing our ideas to each other. I mean, with, with the viewers out there, if you're listening to us, I mean, and we're doing a very no-rules pilot episode because, honestly, the show is only <laughs> about 30 minutes, but we extended, so this is a two-part pilot episode already. We're, we're getting about an R na. Pero, the, the idea of the new you is basically that. Um, straightforward. Kung gusto mo, kung gusto mo yung narinig mo right now, you adapt to it. If you don't want it, just let it go. I mean, I think, mm, this, at this time, yun yung kailangan nating matutunan dito. Eh. I mean, for example, the governments, nung, nung ginawa na nila, meron mga nagagawa magaganda and the other mayors are adapting to it. 
because they think na okay yeah. you know, and I don't want to dwell with the government issue I just made an example pero it's it's something <laughs> ayaw kong itouch yung politics at all ayaw kong ayaw kong pagsabang mahaba you, yan you know, you know or, I, uh, you know highly ako uh, ako I agree with you no um right now more than ever you need to be straightforward eh. you need to mm-hmm. you need to explain you need to be able to bring out whatever there is inside you because hello na sa pandemic na tayo <laughs> mahirap pa bang magpakatotoo we have to be <laughs> maghuhulaan pa kayo truthful <laughs> diba we have to be truthful to each other kung hindi tayo truthful noon this time we have to be truthful we have to learn to be truthful i mean diba if you find na Okay, hindi naman pala hindi pasok sa prinsipyo mo or hindi pasok sa yo. Yeah. You have to tell that. Mm-hmm. Because hello, nasa gitna ka ng pandemic. <laughs> 'Di ba? Meron pa bang hindi meron in in once you get it, you don't know already 50-50 ka na. Yes. 'Di ba? So the the most important thing right now is that you you be able to be truthful not just to others but to yourself also, to mm-hmm. be honest. Mm-hmm. 'Di ba? Kasi before, syempre ano tayo eh, um, hirap tayo magpakatotoo because ang um, follow these rules, ay baka hindi ka bigyan ng ganitong project. RC, ay baka, the new, ano, si- the, the new cinema pa ba yung, RC, the new cinema pa ba yung pinag-uusapan natin o something else na gusto mo? Ay, yung problema mo. Hindi, hindi, hindi. No, but I, The, But I, have, I think it's I have um, to, um, a realization with sa RCD. quarantine, no? Yeah. I mean, siyempre, pag quarant- nasa quarantine ka, ang dami mong nare-realize about your life. Totoo yan. Diba? Totoo. About, yeah. about the things that you do, lalo na sa aming mga creatives, no? Ang dami-daming, ang dami mong marirealize about yourself, about your world, di ba? You get in touch again with yourself. True. You get, True. um, you get affected again, di ba? By simple things. Yeah. Di ba? I mean, ano siya, and that's very valid um, because you are, again, you are on your way to renewing yourself, di ba? Mm-hmm. To, yeah. to, the, to the world. It's the new you. Di ba? <laughs> at least, di ba? Sabi mo nga, it's the new you. At least, pagtapos ng quarantine, you are a more truthful artist. I mean, mm-hmm. Kent is gonna be a more truthful producer. I am be, I will be more of a truthful I'm director that is true to my to my to craft. my principles yeah. to my knowledge diba to my craft diba yung uh, hindi ka na uunahan ng dahil you need dahil na, nabubulag ka sa fame and yes. sa ano mm-hmm. Actually, because to add our diba? story like what I mentioned to to Kat earlier we're doing the podcast not really to be famous it's not about that i mean yeah. we have <laughs> about <laughs> ilang, i don't know how many follow oh, viewers we have right now but Thank you for the guys for for you guys tuning in. Pero it's about really sharing the the knowledge, the the learnings that we mm-hmm. we find or we think about each day. This this podcast, this show, this is this for one. This is actually to to document what happened during the pandemic. I mean, for one, after yeah. this pandemic, this is something that we can all listen to after in Spotify. That oh, we did that podcast thing with RC and Kent and and, and Reg the other night. <laughs> Talking about the new cinema, and this, this is my our... first time to do it. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. I mean, so and, this is it's record. it's documented, and <laughs> and we well we 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 will be glad to have you on the show back. But for now, I think we only have 12 minutes for one hour. <laughs> okay. So okay. I'm so sorry, but we we ha- we we have to end the show because it's be, it's been a very ang ganda. Ang ganda ng usapan. And with the new cinema, yeah. and I think with the other next episodes, there's going to be other discussion points na baka humaba din. So, I'm thinking of maybe creating a 45-minute show because ang dami natin pwede pag-usapan. And <laughs> Kent and RC... I mean, that is the point of the new Hue, di ba, Harley? I mean, the new Hue is like an open platform for people. That's why we that's why we, we started it because we're very opinionated people. and. True. Um, one thing that H and I like the reason why H and I became friends through working is that we realized that we loved the rawness and the honesty and the conversations that we were having about current events as well. So we became friends over that topic until it became a live stream and then now this, you know, this platform to have raw, open, honest conversations with people we're just meeting online. 
yeah. at the moment, yeah. right? But I mean, so it's a it's a different human in- interaction and experience as well. You know, you have having you, this uh, podcast. You 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 have the twenty four hours to yourselves right now. I mean, simply, if you have a you dedicate still the eight hours to to work. But with the remaining yeah. hours, what do you do? I mean, for some, they work out, they listen to music, and all. I mean, with us, that we we. We find conversations as an outlet, and and or oh, and sharing the knowledge is a passion. This is something worth doing. I mean, the thirty minutes of our lives for hindi naman to every day. I mean, whatever, whenever the mm-hmm. the situation arises, it's good. So for and this our, is the only time you can break rules as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. We're almost going to an hour. <laughs> oh well, we we don't really want to break rules, pero for conversation's sake. Yes, we're willing to. But again, 10 minutes, I think, to wrap things up. Reg, your take, the new cinema. Let's wrap these things up. Well, to be honest, and dami nating na discuss. So, actually, mm-hmm. medyo, sorry, medyo matatagal dito kasi marami din ako naisip while you guys were talking about it. So, I'm going to there are digital 10 minutes. platforms. <laughs> no, no, we cannot. We cannot. That's too much, that's too much. Oh, sabi ko, pasalita mo muna ako. So, I get the point um, from from Kent and from RC that definitely cinema, experiencing cinema in a physical aspect, you really can't you can, really can't get any other um, experience. You know, there's a charm in watching the movie and sure. absorbing it firsthand in a dark room. Um, but at the moment, yung naging focus na rin kasi, if there's going to be a new cinema after this, definitely the protocols and the measures and the responsibilities of the producers, the directors, and the people managing the crew, they have to take that into consideration because what we don't want is uh, an overworked crew as well because that lowers the immune system. Kung isang may nagkasakit, lahat magkakasakit. And aside from that, yung cinema, syempre, yung regulations ng malls, how they're going to start doing that. Kasi medyo mahirap na yan kasi social distancing is going to be yeah. practical mm-hmm. and everyday life for us na talaga. Hmm. Kent, about the you? Question. My, my take on, on this entire thing? Yeah, yes. Um, I think other other than the cinema itself, we need to be, as, as filmmakers, we need to be able to um, find ways to attract our audience back into cinema. Technically, mm-hmm. technically, even if we're like like what RC was saying, technically, um, cinema, films, TV shows are keeping everyone sane right now. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's it also built that kind of phobia for people to come out and go back to theaters. Um, I think we need to find creative ways um, and effective ways, obviously, to to get our people back because right now they're taken away and it's it's not it's not helping them in terms of social interaction and it's also not helping us as filmmakers to actually give that full experience to our viewers that's true rc yeah. to wrap things up for tonight Ako, uh, for tonight uh, because we want to what we want to put you back yes on the show down at the pag-uusapan so yeah yeah, I think to to my take on the new cinema, no. For me, new cinema is your new you. Um, de ba? After this is um after this crisis, you have like like what you said, though, The new cinema, um, should bring out yung bagong ikaw, de ba? Because you cannot become, you cannot be like who you are before, because for sure your audience also changed already. True, yeah. de ba? Um. And as you become your new you, ba, your new cinema becomes new again. You meet again your new audiences. And at the same time, you 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 are able to bring out new system in, in the industry. Ba? You are able to think of new ways on how to improve this industry because mm-hmm. I, I believe in the Filipino talent. I believe that Filipino definitely, definitely. filmmakers are great storytellers. Diba? And we have a chance to to be heard and seen out in the world, diba? Um and by that we have to improve also ourselves. We cannot be the same industry just like before. Mm-hmm. Diba? Um we cannot just be driven by capitalism. We cannot just be driven right. by our fear. We have to be more brave now. We have to be more truthful now in the 
diba? whether it's a rom-com, it's a horror, it's whatever genre it is, it has to be your truth as a filmmaker is what you're gonna tell to your to your audience. Mm-hmm. Isn't it ironic? You you want to you want to um, show the truth of yourself, but through a fiction a fictional story. Yeah, actually, that that's where I'm coming uh, <laughs> from. Uh, to wrap things up on my end, when 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 I saw that video <laughs> about John Lloyd and Bea, so about I'm looking at the time. I only have five minutes. Okay, so I'm looking at Ch- John John Lloyd and Bea thing. There, <clears throat> they played their own selves. It's John Lloyd and Bea. Mm-hmm. It's not a character from their past movies. Yeah. Okay. So that's part of the new cinema. That can be part of the new cinema. Okay. So it's yeah. it's really you know uh, sorry, just to just sure, to, sure. Ano, kasi just to yung to just jump dun sa ano mo. Mm-hmm. Um yun kasi yun eh, ever since naman ang na yan eh. Um the great storyteller, great stories that you've seen, the great movies that you're watching in the film are all with a personal touch. True. Diba? Yes. That's why you, that's exactly. the, that's why that's why you feel na there's ah, a okay, science there's a science to it. Eh. Oh, oh, eh. you, yes. you play with the emotion. Personal oh. You play with the emotions as much and that is how ako, I love I love films when I feel the gen the authenticity of the filmmaker. Kapag naramdaman mm-hmm. ko yung hindi siya pretentious, di ba? Ang dami ng ganyan ngayon. Just um, think, also think think about this. I mean, uh with with that in mind, yung yung naka-quote and tie, pumapasok sa cinema watching a rom-com or a Filipino chick flick. Why? Because the marketing there is actually based on emotions. Alam mo na yung taong yon is logically stable or talaga mentally fit or matalino talaga. So kumbaga, parang sa kanya 1 plus 1 that's it. Pero, how do you attack this yeah. type of person? The science into that is you go mm-hmm. with the emotions. Okay. If, if, if that's the formula that you're using, you relate it to ano pinagdaanan nila nung high school sila and all, and they can relate to it, definitely they will watch it. And yeah. also, just just to add to this new cinema, I mean, I'm looking at it in around three minutes. Um, <laughs> I think <laughs> we can all expect yung mga cinema na nakapark yung mga kotse going back. Yung malalaking drive, screens, drive, to, drive, drive by theater? Yes. Drive in theaters. Oh, kanina, yeah. we've been talking about the social distancing, the guidelines and all, at kung hindi mawawala yan. I mean, if, if you have your own car, again, that's privilege and all. Pero, that is a possibility. That it will come back. Yeah. So, ang dami. The platforms, kanina, binabanggit natin. But, with this, aligning it, the new cinema, sinabi nga ni RC, the new cinema will actually reflect the new you. And when we talk about new you, it's about being straightforward. It's about no gray area. It's about new perspective. Like this show, it's all black and white. You want it? You want it. You don't want it? Just leave. Yeah. Thank you for the, I think that's about 20, 25, thank 30, you guys. 30, 30, yeah, 30, thank 30 you viewers so that we have for tonight. Yes. <laughs> this is a very thank interesting so pilot. And I want you to back in the show. I mean, we can discuss a lot. I mean, cinema is there, pero later yeah. on, we can talk about the new film production, the new, the post-production and stuff. Because this this show is fit for, it, it doesn't have any limitations. We can talk about, because we're talking about culture. We're talking about how everyone is actually changing. And that's the purpose yeah. of, of, this, uh, of this show. But for tonight, guys, we have to wrap things up. Two minutes. <laughs> I really had a lot of fun talking with you, conversing with you. So again, just just to plug you guys. on on the following well, thank show. Thank you so we'll, much for having us. Yeah, we'll have DJ Chasha, we'll have Patty Chu on the show, we'll have Jay and I think Runway Model. So different walks of life that we want to talk about, different industries, because the world is changing. Tomorrow is never yeah. promised. Kobe died last January. I mean. <laughs> We don't know what will happen tomorrow. I mean, and and with this podcast, it's it's a good way for us to document things, uh, just get into a conversation that me as an IT individual in the morning, I can learn from you guys from the film industry and most likely later on vice versa. I can have you on the show and we can talk about IT stuff naman. I mean, it's, it's plain learning, okay? And with the new yeah. learning, definitely we'll have new learning on the show. It's about sharing all, and it's for free. 
this is no charge at all. I mean, just just tune in. Facebook Live, we post every week most likely. And then available on Spotify right after Apple Music. We have a YouTube channel as well. So the video that's streaming right now will be available on YouTube after this. So, <laughs> hindi ko pala nasabi sa inyo. So, whatever man yung mga reaction ng mukha natin. Ito surprise. Yes, it is going What? there. <laughs> Kent, RC, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. See you guys. Thank you. Stay thank you. safe wherever you are. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B